I am awkwardly leaning on my desk because my cat is sleeping on my chair. You need to get a job. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you my workstation, my art supplies, my squishy supplies, everything I've got, and I do get this video requested somewhat frequently. Oh, you up, princess? Your bed is over there. We bought you a bed so that you could sleep in it. Also, I am foreseeing some annoying comments about me being spoiled or having too much stuff or something like that. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I feel like I should give some sort of disclaimer, but I don't know what to say. Just don't be annoying. So let's just get into this. This is going to be a somewhat long video, but I hope you guys like it. So yeah, let's start. So here is an overview of my desk. Over here, I have my little shrink plastic guys that I made in a recent video. I made these little clay stands so that they could be displayed on my desk, but they do still come out. Then up here, I have this little donut squishy that I made, a cake squishy that I made, and this dinosaur. And this is actually just an upside down trash can that I put over my hard drives because they're kind of ugly and I'm trying to make my desk look better. So yeah, I just put it on there and I let it hang over the edge so that the cords can come out. I also spray painted this, the pink part. Then over here, I have my other hard drive. I've got this little tin on top of it, which is just random stuff. This YouTube play button squishy that one of my subscribers made for me. A little strawberry squishy that I'm not that I made. I did not make this. I have a big rainbow eraser that I never use because it's too pretty and I don't want to mess it up. I have a little owl. On the wall here, I have my three tote bags that I did in a video. I just decorated these. Inside of this one, I have fidget spinners that I decorated. I put them in this packaging because I want them to last forever. Oh, that's where that thing went. <laughs> in the burger bag, I have shrink plastic failures. <laughs> I don't know why I keep these around. I should probably throw them away. I don't want you to look at my failure for too long. Here I have my magnet board, which has a really bad glare on it. These I got from my P.O. Box, and these are shrink plastic ones, and then I have some photos in here from my instant camera. I really want to add more magnets on here and like fill the whole space with magnets. And below my magnet board I have my pencil holder, which I actually spray painted this as well, that same pink so that everything would kind of match. And it's got just like office supplies, really. But yeah, just for when I need something quick. Then of course I got my pencil sharpener and my tape dispenser. Oh, okay, I'm gonna knock stuff over. That's just the reality of this situation. Here I've got my lamp, which has little shrink plastic pins on it. This is kind of spoiler because like, I'm gonna show all of these in a future video, but I'll probably have more when I make that video. This is a really cheap lamp, so I didn't care about puncturing it, but you can still take them out. Also, I did spray paint this lamp as well. <laughs> Down here on the side of my desk, I have a couple things hiding. This hunk of junk, which is actually two cereal boxes duct taped together because I'm too lazy and cheap to buy an organizer. So I just made one out of cereal boxes. I don't even know what is in here really. Plastic packaging, I don't know, stuff. Also back there, I have this little organizer thing, which I use for my shrink plastic. Um, I actually haven't even set this up yet, but I'm gonna use this to organize all the different templates because I keep all the drawings that I do for my shrink plastic, so I just want something to organize them into different categories. So I'm gonna set this up eventually when I'm done being a lazy human being. And now to get into the drawers. This top drawer, I have a suspicious amount of scissors. I like to use them to murder. No, I'm just kidding. I'm always looking for a good pair of left-handed scissors. So yeah, anyway, got post-its, memo pads, stuff like that. These paint chips that I've literally had since I was like 10 and for some reason, I just don't throw them away. This little tin, which has pictures in it of mostly of my cat. <laughs> got a pica ruler, some random bookmarks. Oh my gosh. This drawer, <laughs> how do I even begin to summarize what's in here? I mean, packing tape, dimensional magic, more dimensional magic, Mod Podge, um, what is this called? Um, <clears throat> you know what that is. 
hot glue sticks, hot glue gun. Oh, I'm actually really excited to use this, but I haven't yet. It's pearlizing medium, clear gloss. That lid is busted, okay. PVA glue, silicone, spray adhesive, fixative, E6000, tacky glue, varnish, Elmer's glue, twine, tape, photo tape, resin. Oh, this is the stuff that I use over chalk pastels um, on my squishies. Fabric medium. This is the spray paint I use for my desk stuff. Crazy glue, more fabric glue, glue sticks back here, and colored glue sticks, water. How do I get this stuff back? This is not how it was before, but you know, we make it work. This drawer is a couple external hard drives. Um, this is my DVD player, pom-poms. <laughs> this is all the stuff, well not all of it, but a lot of the stuff that I use for making tags for my squishies, so. Yeah, you know, just, um... Oh, these are my um, DIY pencil pouches. It's like settled, so all the glitter is on the bottom. There we go. These are just binder clips and paper clips, and some string, a rubber band ball, Rubik's Cube. And in here, I just have a buttload of random beads. Whenever I have a piece of jewelry that breaks, I like collect the beads or I have a bunch of beads that I've literally had since like I was six. So I don't know, I just keep beads for some reason. A paper cutter here that I never use. <laughs> this bag, which has my hamburger bag in it. Oh, my hamburger bell, macaroon erasers, a pin, a Pez thing, just all this random stuff that I have, fake gum, and yeah. Oh, and I have two minions in here, what the heck? Oh yeah, it's a light. Ta-da! And in my middle drawer here, I have gum, micron pens that I use for outlining. I have, also have a Prismacolor set that I use for outlining, white gel pens that I use for highlights, chalk pens, Pencil sharpener, an eraser, some Sharpies, and then a lint roller that's really dirty, a measuring tape calculator, flash drives. Usually I have more in this bundle, but they're all in my backpack right now. Lighters, which I do not smoke, but for some reason I have a bunch of lighters. I don't know. Um, little mini stapler, blades, staples, a big stapler. I have this knife. It's like rainbowy. I've got a three hole punch over here. In this box, I have ooh, cash money um, <laughs> and a bunch of tools. Hole punch. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. X Acto knife, box cutter, stylus. A lot of these are for clay and stuff, which I don't use very often. Ah, this is the handle to one of my drawers. It fell off. This is for my calligraphy pen. On the right side of my desk, I've got gold pins and pin backs, silver pins, random buttons, keychains. Um, uh, you'll see what that is later. Paper clips, food coloring, polymer clay sprinkles, glitter, toothpicks. Barrettes, which I don't actually use for my hair. I use them for cracking squishies. This is a huge thing of popsicle sticks, which I use to mix paint mostly. Rhinestones, thumbtacks, rolling pin for clay and stuff. A rolling thing for ink, safety pins. And this is the last of my drawers, which is like a thousand freaking pounds. Um, I have envelopes in here, which usually, oh, and stickers. I use these for sending out squishy packages and stuff. Also, all these bubble mailers, which I also use for sending out squishy packages. I just have like construction paper, some envelopes. I mean, nothing really too exciting. Magnet sheets that I cut magnets. Okay. Keyboard cover, mm, yet to be used. Some scrap paper in the front here. Here I have some ribbon, which I use this for squishy packages also. And then down there I have tape and then a box of little Ziploc bags. Underneath my desk, I keep my Prisma colors. Oh. 
I love these so much. They are the um, Premier Prismacolor pencils. I have so many pencils. I also have scrap paper and like cardstock under there, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave that alone. It's not too interesting. You've seen paper before, right? Moving on from my desk, here is one of my bookshelves. And really the only art related thing that I have on here is this little corner and I have my doodle binder that I made a few videos ago. Um, and this binder, which has all kinds of stuff that has been sent to my PO box and I just keep it in one binder. And this box is just paint, mostly acrylic paint. Actually, it might all be acrylic paint and Mod Podge. Yeah, just different brands. Like I have really cheap stuff and then like moderately cheap stuff. And then down the bottom, I've got some tubes of like somewhat more expensive stuff, I don't know. Oh, and this Crayola crap, which sucks. I mean, this is like good for kids, like finger painting and stuff, but I would not recommend using this for anything else. Yeah. And next to that bookshelf, I have another little shelf, which I keep my paint brushes on and like paint sponges. I have a lot of different paint brushes in here, like every size and lots of different brands, mostly cheap brands though. Ooh, this one is like really crunchy. <laughs> I don't take very good care of my paint brushes. And in this box, I have seashells. Um, some of them I've painted, most of them are plain though. And I have even more seashells in the bottom. Oh my gosh. I did these a long time ago. I should do more of these because they're kind of cute. But, oh, this one needs to be glazed. But yeah, sometimes I use this for art or crafting. It's just a bunch of string. I mean, I, I used to make those little bracelets, so I have these little wheels. You know, you've seen them before. And then just a bunch of string. And this may be of interest to you, I don't know. Over on this shelf is where I keep all of my books, like the completed ones. This is my completed This Is Not A Book, completed Wreck This Journal, old completed Wreck This Journal. I have my In Progress Create This Book, my In Progress This Is Not A Book. Finish This Book, which I started a long time ago and haven't finished, which is ironic. <laughs> And pretty much all my other art supplies are in this closet, which is very crammed and dark, as you can see. So I'm probably gonna take out everything one by one and show you. I will show you how I store my duct tape because I'm kind of proud of it. I made these little wire hangers um, and I hang all of my duct tapes off of this metal shelf in the closet. They were taking like an entire drawer in my desk. So I figured out this way to hang them to save some space. First, I've got my camera bag, which isn't too interesting when there's not a camera in it, um, but I just have random camera-y things. My other lens. Then I have this butterfly bag, which I usually use for my microphone, but I'm using my microphone right now, so I don't have it in here. The only interesting thing that's in here right now is my instant camera. I love this thing. It's just one of those cameras that prints the picture immediately. The picture comes out of here. You put the film in there and you can get these off of Amazon. Oh, I have this like little ferret that, <laughs> that I, goes on the microphone, I guess. I, does anybody know what this is for? Like, I don't... Also, I have this little tripod, which I just got this like the other day. So I'm gonna use this for like a tabletop when I'm doing my artwork so that you can see a closer up image, but I haven't even used it yet because I literally just got this. Then I have this basket and Opie's very interested in it. Opie, food? No, it's not food. These are squishies that I'm going to be selling eventually. Most of these aren't on Etsy right now. I think I only have like two on Etsy right now, but I will put these up eventually. Underneath that basket, I have this box, which I think I've had since I was like 10. <laughs> and somehow it's still living. Zippers, all different colored zippers, needles. I, oh, uh -huh. lots more thread of like every different color that you can imagine. This is my sewing kit. It's just like a really basic sewing kit for people who have no clue what they're doing like me. Then I have this little contraption, which is my UV lamp. Um, I bought this to cure UV resin, but I don't really use UV resin that much anymore. I don't really like it for multiple reasons, but I think it also cures nail polish, maybe, possibly. So maybe I'll use it to cure my toenail polish. Maybe I'll stick my feet in there. Then I have these two boxes, which this is a Prismacolor pencil box, but I use it for shrinkage. Ah, I don't want to show 
of them too well because I don't want to spoil future videos, but I put Shrinky Dinks that I haven't glazed yet in here. In this box, which I've also had since I was 10, Precious Moments. Um, it's in pretty good condition considering it's like 12 years old and came from the dollar store. Um, I keep my finished Shrinky Dinks, which I also don't want to show too well. Um, I keep them in here. And in this box, I have Crayola washable super tip markers. Wait, are these washable? I don't know. These are really the only markers that I ever buy. One day, I would love to try Copic markers, but they're just so expensive. Like, I just can't justify spending that much on markers right now. So, one day, though. And then I've got this box, which inside of this box, I have another box. Ooh. This little box is just sketching pencils. I have all different kinds of brands in here. This is a Prismacolor. This should not be in here. Oh my gosh, why is this in here? I have to fix this now. And if you're wondering what this lump of dung is, it's a kneaded eraser. I'm not a huge fan of kneaded erasers, but I found it on the floor of the art building at school and I was like, mm, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know if that's technically theft. Then I've got all kinds of colored pencils in here, different brands, just like cheap brands. These, I already showed you my Prisma colors, which are my nice pencils. And then these are like really cheap brands like Crayola, which still work fine. Um, but I just use these if I don't want to use my Prisma colors. Then I have this box. Inside we've got, this is a, box of black Prismacolor pencils, which I use for detailing and outlining and that kind of thing. Sharpies, all of my gel pens. I have so many gel pens. Um, a box of crayons. This is really like stuff that I, like office supply type stuff that I don't usually use. Oh, check this out. I'll give it all I got. That is my plan. Yeah. I've got highlighters, Sharpies, pens, a bunch of fresh mechanical pencils for school. Spank a new eraser. Oh, I think I have more erasers in here. I believe these are scented. That's why they're in the bag. Well, they ain't scented anymore. <laughs> and most of the rest of what's on the shelf is big boxes. Um, but this first one has all of my memory foam squishies in it. Most of these are new, so you haven't seen them yet. So I don't want to spoil anything. I'm trying to like keep the old ones on top. Um, but I will do an update with these, so I don't really want to go through those and spoil the update. Then I have this bag, which is kind of getting filled up, um, but it's just a bag of all of my mini squishies. A lot of these you've seen, some of them you haven't. Well, those of you who watch my updates, but any squishy that's really small, I'll put in here. In the next box is my decorated squishies. Most of these you guys have already seen, so I don't need to be super careful about this one, but right now it's mostly just ice cream cones and Hello Kitties. Um, yeah, also I store my squishies in bags if you were wondering because the paint will sometimes stick to itself and I don't want it to like pull off or get damaged so they have to be individually wrapped so that they don't stick together. Then I have this bag which is really full um, and this is all my older polyfoam squishies. You've definitely seen all of these if you watch my updates, the original polyfoam squishies that I made and I keep them in here. Then in this box I keep all of my newer polyfoam squishies. I have put most of these in updates, previous updates, but um, there are a bunch of new ones in here. Where are the new ones? They should be on top, but I think they're actually on the bottom, all the new ones for some reason. But yeah, um, those are my polyfoam squishies. And in this box, I have mostly makeup sponges. I have different kinds of makeup sponges, and these are obviously for squishies. These makeup sponges. This is for mixing foam. I have sticks down here that I use for like cake pop or popsicle squishies. Oh, I have this stuff, which I'm planning on using for future squishies. But that's, that's, yeah, just sponges. And in this box, I have just a big mess of squishies. I should have cleaned this out before I did this video, but um, squishies that I'm still working on. Oh, a lot of scrap memory foam is in here. And on the bottom is all blank polyfoam that uh, has yet to be decorated. So yeah, it goes all the way down, just blank, except for this one. Ooh, 
surprise. In this huge box, I have all of my silicone molds, which I use for my polyfoam squishies. I have so many different molds. I don't know if I want to dig all the way down to the bottom to show you every single one. These big cupcake molds, I use those a lot. Oh, this cooler donut mold. Oh, this is mold release, which kind of works, kind of doesn't. Um, but sometimes I spray it on like plastic molds and it will kind of help the foam release easier. But it's ideal just to use silicone molds because that's what really works the best. And in this box, this is kind of insane. Um, these are all squishies that I plan on decorating. Um, I get most of them from either eBay or banggood.com because I don't really want to pay a lot for squishies that I'm just going to decorate, so I get really cheap squishies and I just hoard them <laughs> so that I can decorate them in the future. Yeah, I, it just, it goes all the way down, guys. Like, I will decorate them eventually, I promise. But for now, they're just in here. And over on here, I have this box, which is full of my fabric paint. What's in here? Oh, this is just like tools that I use for applying fabric paint, like some dirty popsicle sticks and other type things that I use for painting squishies. This bag is full of fabric paints that um, are almost used up, so I'm trying to use them up and get rid of them. And then down here I have a bunch more fabric paints. Like, this is another thing that I hoard. I. <laughs> I have so many colors of fabric paint, like, I can't resist. Don't buy any more fabric paint. Okay, sorry, I'm just having a moment. And then I have this little plastic set of drawers. In the top drawer, I have paint palettes. Why are they stuck? Oh, because there's paint in there. And this paint palette, ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Two sets of the exact same watercolor palette glass paint. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm just shocked at my hoarderness. Um, this is another set of colored pencils. I've had these for a long time though. Like I got these a long time ago. These Hello Kitty twist up crayons, which I've had since I was like seven or eight. I don't know, really young. And I just thought they were so pretty and I never colored with them. These soft pastels. What is this? I forget what's in here. Oh, more watercolors. Look at that. This is not the box that they came in. My Koi watercolor set, which I really like. And it comes with a little watercolor pen thing. With watercolor pencils from Artist Loft. A Crayola watercolor set, which I really like because the colors are really vibrant. This is charcoal, white chalk. I had this for a drawing class I took in school. All we were allowed to use is charcoal, so. On the way bottom, I have these oil pastels, which I absolutely never use. I have had these for probably seven years now, and I don't use them ever. But I don't know, I keep telling myself that one day they'll come in handy or something. And in the next drawer, I have, oh my gosh, this thing drives me crazy. A whole bunch of dimensional magic. Why do I have three? I don't know. Gloves, usually for foam, when I'm mixing foam, gloves are important. More pin backs and pins. Oh, this is just a buttload of crap. I, I don't know, I just put stuff in here that I feel like I will use later and usually don't, but you know, it's there. Ink, printmaking ink, which I was going to use for school and then didn't and a bunch of um, polymer clay. And in the last drawer, I have these, which I bought actually to store shrinky dinks, but I bought them online, of course, and so the little compartments are way too small, even if you take that out, it's too narrow. So I have no idea what I'm gonna use these for now. This random cup <laughs> tongs, kitchen supplies that I've stolen and used for uh, crafting or art this which I use for school um, mm -hmm. and to the side of my drawers I have a couple things in there I've got this cutting mat which I've used so much and it's got so many cuts in it and then I have this huge cutting mat which my friend actually gave to me because she had an extra one and I use this one now more then I have this which is my baby it's my Intuos tablet where is the stylus hello 
Here it is. Yeah, it's for drawing on the computer. I use it a ton. And finally, I have this big box, which I keep in my other closet because it doesn't fit in my main closet. And it's just um, craft supplies. Most of these are for crafts that I haven't done yet, so I don't want to dig through it too much and give away anything. Eh, you'll probably be able to tell what I'm doing with some of this. Um, this is a backdrop that I use like on my table, which is actually a curtain. Um, but that's the final box that I have to show you. Okay, so that is all that I have to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about certain supplies, please feel free to ask, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!